welcome back. Uh, today I am filming a what I eat in a day. I'm gonna go ahead and show you usually what I make for breakfast. This looks kind of gross, but I swear it's delicious. I put in about a cup of spinach, maybe a cup of frozen blueberries, a whole apple, and then I think I put in about a teaspoon of flaxseed. I don't really remember what flaxseed is good for, but I like it in my smoothies, and it says right on the package, throw them in your smoothies. And I also put in about a cup of vanilla almond milk because it's much better than unsweetened almond milk. I usually have a smoothie for breakfast. Honestly, I'll have, like lately I've been like really in the smoothie mood, so I've been having a lot of smoothies for breakfast, but I also usually eat it with an English muffin and I put butter and honey on mine. Do people do that? I remember eating toast as a kid and I always put butter and honey on it. And it's really good. I think you guys should definitely try it. It's really good. But I'll have this and then I also will drink probably a whole one of these for breakfast just to really get a jump start on drinking some water because water is super important and yeah, I don't, I don't know, ah! I, I don't know how much this is, it does not say. Regardless, just make sure you're drinking enough water every day and I always just like forget. I love water, but I always forget to drink it. But yeah, definitely make sure you get a lot in for breakfast to kind of help your body get ready for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and eat all of this because by now it's like my English muffin is cold and my smoothie is warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast and in between I'll chat with you guys. Usually in the morning, I will check all of my all of my Instagram notifications or like text messages. I always leave my phone on do not disturb. It bothers me like when I hear my phone vibrate or like when I hear a text tone. I don't know why, but it just bothers me. So I almost always leave it on do not disturb unless it's like something important is happening that day. Usually in the mornings, I will go ahead and check all of my Instagram notifications, which recently there's been a lot, which is good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've been connecting with a lot of people on here and I'd love to connect with you too. So go ahead and follow me. Let's be friends. That's usually how I start my morning, just engaging and trying to catch up on some things. And so I usually do that until I'm done with my breakfast. And then I will get on with the day. Today's a big day. I have a lot of filming to do, so I've got to make sure I'm ready for all of that. But also this morning I was listening to a podcast by Katie, Bel Katie Bellotti. Um, she's a YouTuber, but I found her, I came across her like months and months ago. But I love her podcast. I actually, I just like love everything that she does. She is like a lifestyle influencer but also she's like a graphic designer and she's just like really cool and I love all of her podcasts and like right now I'm listening to a Q&A that she's doing she does she'll do like ask Katie where uh, people will DM her and they'll ask her for advice on their situations and I think that that's really cool and I don't know I just enjoy listening to that stuff sometimes especially like I love listening to podcasts like when I'm really really busy because it's just nice to have something in the background rather than just music like I notice the music that I'm listening to it's just like on repeat and it's driving me nuts so I had to change it and now I'm listening to a podcast catching up on those and if you're new here then you don't know I also have a podcast where I talk about a lot of lifestyle things so go ahead and check that out in the description of this video and anyways i'm gonna finish this and i'll talk to you guys probably closer to lunch okay bye my lunch today what time is up it's one o'clock like exactly i have water on my face okay you guys are gonna laugh at me but this is what we have for leftovers i have a hamburger some french fries and some pickles <laughs> and here I'll show you okay so that's that's the meal for lunch it's a hamburger french fries and some pickles <laughs> and it's all deconstructed I guess we don't have any hamburger buns and 
Honestly, I'm not really a huge hamburger person, but we had some last night, and so these are leftover. So I'm just being really realistic. <laughs> They're really good, and I mean, I'll eat it just like this. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I didn't, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize how hungry I was, and usually I'm not like the type of person that's like that usually forgets about <laughs> eating, but I feel like I've been so busy that I just have forgotten to eat and I feel like I kind of just turned into that person that forgets to eat a hair in my mouth. Okay, got it. <laughs> and um, lately I've been eating dinner at like eight, eight o'clock at night. So I think that's kind of why I just keep eating later and later and later. So yeah, usually I get hungry at like 11.30 noon and now it's one o'clock and I'm starving. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'd give you some, but a video so today it's been like just kind of a chilly spring Michigan day like I'm freezing and it's eh, it's pretty gloomy out typical it was sunny this morning but now it's gloomy and windy and I think a little bit chilly this is not sponsored like at all at all there's an app that I use sometimes I used to use it a lot more when I was uh, like keeping track of things but lately I haven't been keeping track anyways it's um, like a food logging app and it's called food foodicate like food UK like educate but food UK I'll write it somewhere on here I like it a lot because so I downloaded this like years ago so I don't even remember what it was like when I first downloaded it but they take like your height your weight um, and then from there they kind of tell you how many daily uh, calories you can have. I just really like it because there's this, <laughs> you can see my feet, there's this um, scanning app where you can scan food, like you can just put a barcode there and scan it and it'll scan it for you and give you nutrition facts and things like that. There's like a community where you can talk to people and they share their food and different things like that. There's a tra the tracker is what I was talking about. So like for me, for example, it says I can have like 1880 calories in a day, but you can also log in like if you exercise and how long you do that and whatever type they've got loads of different type of exercise on there for me personally and I don't want you guys to think that like I'm on any sort of diet or anything like that. Really, it's just for me to kind of, when I want to, like if, if I'm looking at salad dressing, for me, salad dressing is always kind of tricky because salad dressing can be actually really bad for you. So I like to look at the nutrition facts on that and then on this, it'll tell me what's wrong with it, what's good about it, why something's wrong with it, why it's good for you. And I really like that. And so if you are just trying to live a healthier lifestyle, then I would definitely look into an app or like an app like this I guess because this really helped me with understanding different things that they put in our food and I think that that's really important is knowing what is in your food and understanding why it might be bad for you or why it might be good for you. I wanted to talk to, the, to you guys about that today because I mean I'm showing you guys what I eat in a day and I'm not keeping track like I didn't log any of this today no I didn't log any of this today but that's kind of like I guess this is just like a typical day and if you are like I said just trying to live a happier healthier lifestyle and you're curious about the food that you're eating then I really really recommend an app like this just to just to know what you're putting in your body like seeing if you've had I, I remember seeing on there like you can check how many, how much protein you've had in a day, um, like your macro and micronutrients. I don't know what those are, but you can track those, um, things like that. Lately, I've been trying, well, I've always just tried to eat in moderation, and I think this kind of helps me understand the moderation. Like, in my head, if I think I'm having food in moderation, I can, like, cross-check it with this to actually see if, like, if I am doing what I think I'm doing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought I would share that. Like I said, not sponsored at all. Uh, I thought it was a cool app and I thought I would share it with you guys since we're talking about food today. So, 
that is it for my lunch. I'm probably going to have a snack in the next couple hours because I know I'll be hungry. So I'll come back to you guys when I have a snack. <sighs> Hello. It's that time. It's snack time. In all reality, it's like 4.30, so dinner will be quick pretty soon. But you know how I was saying, I think I was saying it in this video, <laughs> that like dinner has usually been like around 8 o'clock for me. I'm thinking that's what it's going to be like again tonight, so I'm going to eat a snack now. These are my favorite crackers. They're so good. They're the sea salt and olive oil. They're so good. They're so addictive, but I try not to eat them very often just because I know they're not very good for you. If you use that app that I told you, it explained to me why they're not very good for you, so I try not to eat them often, but I have crackers and a cheese stick, and I don't know. I, that's just, that's what I'll be snacking on, so. I uh, hope you guys are snacking too. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys when I go and eat dinner. <laughs> okay, bye. Editing Allie here. I ended up for getting to film the rest of what I ate in the day. Basically, I just had some ice cream. I think it was like around 9, 9.30 at night, and I watched a movie with my family, and that's how I finished out my day. So um, thanks for hanging out with me on this episode, and I'll talk to you guys in another one. Okay, bye. Bye.